Hello again. In this tutorial we'll be focusing on the override profile and we're also going to create first scene. Override profile will allow us to set our variables the way we want it and make sure that the variables won't be accidentally set to something else. You may think of it as an insurance feature that double check the profiles and make sure the variables are selected correctly. So for each variable corresponding with our location or phone state, we're going to make sure that the other variables have correct value. In example, when the sleep variable has a value of one, it means it's enabled. The following values will be true to variables. Home will equal one, work will equal zero as the profile is not available at work and outdoors will equal zero as well as this profile is inactive. We're going to create a quick task list which will set these variables to predefined values. From now on, whenever our variable will change, the profile will check on all the important variables and it will set them the way we want it to. I'm going to speed up the process, so if you're not sure what values you should change, just pause the video. The general idea is, whenever one of the variables is set to 1, the other should be set to 0, with exception of sleep profile, which allows the home variable to be at 1. This way, we can easily activate or deactivate profiles we desire. For home location, I want to deactivate the following profiles. I'm going to select profile status and disable the profiles responsible for our time synchronization, our battery saving feature and headset notifications. Those are displayed on the screen right now for you. The same profiles I want to be deactivated at work because I have access to power supply and I can charge my device anytime. I'm just going to select all the tasks, copy them and just paste them in our work task list. I'm going to select profiles responsible for my data connection control and my battery as well 
and copy them to the outdoor list and I make sure they are activated whenever I enter outdoor. At this point, I can also choose to modify our message controller. I'm going to remove Endomond application and let the profile run in outdoors only when the headset is plugged in. I want our headset notification profile to be active whenever I'm exercising. I'm going to create new condition, create a variable called exercise, and whenever that's set to one, my headset control profile will activate. I'm going to discuss how to create that profile later on. I also know that I want my headset notification profile to be enabled during the exercise so I'm going to copy and paste these profiles back to the list then enable them since this is done now we're going to create our first scene the scene will contain all the profiles that we currently have active, will also display values on our key variables and allow us to postpone or disable the sleep time profile. We're going to create new scene. I'm just gonna call it overview scene. You're gonna see a square that we're gonna uh, fit to our purposes. It's gonna be a little bit narrower. And then once you click on zoom in, you get to add uh, features, buttons and texts. I'm going to add a simple button and call it close as this is the button I'm going to use to close out our scene. I'm going to choose appropriate icon. You can do it at the bottom of that selection screen. And then I'm just going to the tab called tap and specify what I want this button to perform when I tap on it. We obviously want to close our scene, so I'm going to scene and destroy scene. You'll notice the name automatically jumped in as this is the only scene we've got right now. So right now we can modify the shape of our button and the location. If you click at the clicking at the edges of the power button allows you to resize it and in the middle of it allows you to drag it and place it in an appropriate spot. I'm going to add now a text. In this text, I'm going to call it home and that will describe our home variables. You'll see the text popping out on the screen. You can resize the size of the text field and then place it in area you want. Just follow my instructions for now. I'm going to repeat this for variables outdoor, work and sleep profile. Once this is done, I'm going to add another text field and this time I want it to call home update and enter text, which is off. This will tell us whether the profile is enabled or disabled. I'm going to do so for variables home, work and outdoors and place the text fields in a correct position.
for the sleep profile, I'm going to modify text a little bit as I wanted to say inactive first. I'm going to add another text field and this time I'm going to list all the enabled profiles in that text field. So the name I'm going to use it is just enabled profiles and as an actual text I'm going to use system variable that displays all the enabled profiles. You can look it up nearer to the bottom. It's called profiles enabled. I'm just going to adjust the text size and the box size at the bottom and make it look neat. Lastly, we're going to add another button and this button is going to be responsible for disabling and enabling our sleep time profile. On top, I want this to deactivate, or actually I want this to toggle our profile, which is sleep time. It is very important, so you would zoom out first and then exit the scene, as this is when your scene is being saved. Now we're going to create a task that will be responsible for updating this scene and handling it. Scene has to be created first and then we're using action display scene to actually make the scene visible to us. There is many ways of displaying your scene. We're going to go with dialog, which is themed behind. We're going to move the scene to the right and then apply it. We want our task list to check what values our variable are holding right now and update the scene accordingly. By choosing elements text, we can replace the text on our scene whenever variable will change. So for example, I'm going to replace current text with on whenever our home variable is set to 1. If that variable is set to 0, the scene will remain unchanged. The element we want to update is a home, work or outdoor update element on our scene. Those are corresponding with off name in our scene. We want these values to be checked before we show our scene, so I'm just going to move our show scene after these tasks. Now we're going to add a new variable to our scene, well to our task list. I'm going to hold all our enabled profiles in it, so I'm just going to name it active profiles. And as you already know, 
The variable responsible for it can be found in a list down below. We also want this to happen first before we'll show our scene. If you run the task list you will see in variables that this has populated our newly created variable with all the profiles we have enabled. This will list all the active variables for us, however we only want to make sure that the sleep time is active. We can do this by search replace variable option and in our active profile variable we're going to search for sleep time and I'm going to store it in active profiles as well. What this will do, it will create an array of the variables for us. The sleep time is stored in active profile one and I want this to be our condition to display the text in our scene. So as before, I'm going to replace the text in our scene using element text and the element I'm going to use is slipped update and replace it with active whenever active profiles one matches to sleep time. Remember to put the name in a correct capitalization. Also, I'm going to call this update before the scene is displayed. Lastly, I'm going to use a new plugin, Assistant Event for Tasker, to launch this scene. What it does, it replaces your default action when you tap and hold on your go to the desktop button. This is not a shortcut I use often, so it's perfect for this one. So you can see now the scene is working correctly and also the scene will update the values each time you launch it. I hope this simple example will give you an idea what can be done with scenes. Using plugins you can also use scenes as a widget or lock screen widgets. That's it for this tutorial and see you in the next one.